Good afternoon, afternoon, kingdom. I love you, my brothers and sisters. So with that being said in love, let's go to the throne of grace. May the Lord surround you with his everlasting love. May the Lord give you ears of discernment in this day and time in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of the Lamb, the sound of the Lamb, and the blood of the Lamb wash you, keep you, protect you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, the mighty and holy ancient of days, I'm coming to you today for the righteous personality and character that I need during the course of this life for righteous and pure change in the name of Jesus Christ. As King David said, give me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me that I don't sin against you. For I know if I confess my faults to you that you are faithful and just to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. So today, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I stand purely naked, petition the throne today, for we live in a different time and day. Give me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me that I don't sin against you and you alone. For what was right many years ago is now considered bad, and what was considered bad is now called good. For I need spiritual change that matches your holiness for today's time. For my natural parents, we picked up traits, characteristics, personalities, principles from them, and we seem to walk in our own ways that some of it has been more of a generational curse versus a generational blessing. We are supposed to hear the voice of the Lord, but instead I've listened to the voice of the world, walking in the precepts of what the lines of the world has told me, and I continue to do so. Today I repent and renounce of the things, the characteristics, the personality, and the conversation of the world system that is leading me astray. And I come back to you, holy and wise God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For your ways is not like the world, and your thoughts is not like of the world. For you are the supreme standard, and I come to come out of attachments, agreements, assignments, and contracts of the world system and this gospel. For I pick up my cross to follow after the death of Jesus Christ, the burial of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of Jesus Christ to come for godly personality and character today. So wash me in the blood of innocent Lamb of God that I will be purely ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that I start to look more and more like your only begotten Son. I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. I love you, my brothers and sisters.